Hi everybody, it's me Samantha here today with a little haul. I went to Target to pick up a birthday present today and then I hit up Ulta because it's my birthday month and I wanted to get my free gift and of course you know I bought some other little things. So I wanted to show you the things that I picked up at Target and Ulta today and if you're interested in watching, keep watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button it will really help me out it means a lot to me and my channel so thank you guys and we'll get into it so i have everything in here in this little bag what i purchased at target for the birthday present was this cute little avocado guitar i will find an image and put it right here it is adorable um the baby turned one years old it was a really good friend of mine so yeah but everything else I purchased is here in this bag. And I am on the hunt for a really good brow product. So pretty much at Target, most of what I bought were brow products. So I purchased this Sonia Kashuk Small Pointed Blush Brush. This is the 108. I'm going to actually take it out of the case. You guys are going to see the magic. I love opening stuff. Their brushes have this weird thing where you open the cap and then you can push it down. That just took the top off. And this is what she looks like. It's very nice and flimsy. I wanted to try this actually for bronzing. Um, and if I don't like it for that, then I'll just use it for blush. This is really nice and soft. I cannot wait to use that. For now, I'm gonna put it back in the little case. So satisfying. I like that it has the little number there on the top, but I hate that it's not on the actual handle because there is a point where I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm not gonna know what number brush it is. I purchased two Maybelline brow pencils. I purchased the Tattoo Studio Brow Tint Pen. That's my little Chloe walking around. So this is the Brow Tint Pen in Deep Brown. This is the one that has like the little teeth on it. I'm really excited to try to see if this is gonna really work. I wanna use it kind of here on that inner part of my brow, especially because of this chicken pox scar here. Um, and then I also picked up the Total Temptation Brow Definer, also in deep brown. I really like a thick um, kind of tip that's angled to fill in my brows because I don't have skinny little thin brows and I feel like the trend is thicker brows so most of us no longer have those thin little brows so I don't want to spend forever drawing 50 million hairs I just want to fill in the gaps so I picked this up and then when I went to Ulta I picked up a couple elf things because I really really want to get into trying all of their stuff like I haven't really played with that much elf before my putty primer and so now I want to try everything elf I did put in a big order of elf products to kind of do a full face and one of the items that I had purchased was their brow pencil and I accidentally purchased the color black which would match with my hair but for me I'm so not used to using a black brow pencil it was just way too severe so at Ulta they actually had the deep brown shade so I picked that up I also picked up their crease brush and their flat eyeliner brush I really like using brushes like this for my under eye to kind of place the eyeshadow before I blend it out and then I oh I forgot to mention that I got this at actually at Target their elf um sheer slick in the shade dragon fruit so I have the golden pear one that I purchased online and I wasn't sure how the dragon fruit was gonna really look so when I saw this in store I was like, oh, it's a little bit more like a Merlot color. It might not look like that with the lights on and everything. So, I don't know. I am wearing the golden pear one. It's a little bit, because I'm drinking my 
polar. Oh, this is fun. If any of you are from New England and you guys drink polar seltzer, have you tried this new, new ginger peach winter limb edition one? I really, really like this. But anyway, yes, I'm wearing golden peach on my lip pair and my lips and I like it a lot. So I decided to pick up the dragon fruit. So back to my Ulta purchase. I actually decided to try this matte putty primer. I was going back and forth if I wanted the universal just pore filling one or if I wanted to try the mattifying one and I figured I'm going to try the mattifying one because I don't really try mattifying primers very much and I really need to expand my horizons so I picked up this one. I'm also a little worried too because it's white if it's going to create like a gray cast in my skin but we'll find out. We'll find out. I'll let you know. And then again, I, not again, but, and then I also picked up this Real Techniques cheek blush in 400 cheek blush, whatever. It's the by Sam and Nick blush for blush and bronzer, number 400. I'm going to open this as well. I actually don't think I have any Real Techniques brushes and again i'm trying to find a brush for a bronzer i have the farah 50 f f50 and it's really not a bronzer brush it's actually a powder brush but i love it for bronzer but i'm like i need another brush that's similar so when that one's dirty i can have backup so <laughs> i'm searching for something that's flimsy and fluffy so I picked this one up because it looked like it might be that. It's a little bit bigger, like the Farrah one. So between these two, I need to figure something out. Otherwise, I can use it for blush as well. And then my birthday present, I got the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. And it came in black. I don't know if there's other shades sometimes mascaras come in different shades oh look at the packaging is so cute so yes i'm not going to open it right now because once you open it you got to use it so i'm going to save this and that is everything i got if you like videos like this don't forget to give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button come back for another video thank you guys bye